Oh, hi Tanya. Hi. Hi Ming. Hi. Hey, Teacher Ming. What's that behind you? It's a rice field. Really? What kind yeah. of rice is that growing back there? It's sticky rice. Yeah. Is that a uh, something people eat a lot of here? Yes, they eat every day. Eat every day. Every single day. How many uh, How many times a day do people here in Thailand eat rice? Three times. Oh, three times, yeah? Three times. Three times. Uh, what are some of the, the dishes that people really like to eat with rice here? Well, like with sticky rice, one of the things they like to do, you roll it into a little ball and then you dip it in all kinds of things. You can dip it in fish sauce, you can eat it with egg, you can eat it with fried egg or boiled egg. Um, I think they eat it with a kind of salad, right? Chai, chai, chai. What kind of salad do they eat it with? Uh, papaya salad. Spicy. Papaya salad. Spicy papaya salad. Wait, is that like ripe papaya? Yeah, the green one. Oh, not ripe papaya. Oh, unripe, oh, uh, unripe yeah, papaya. Yeah. yeah, okay. So they eat that with every day. I think a lot yeah. of people here eat it every day, right? Mm. Hey, what season is this right now? This is the rainy season. Okay, and rainy season is also? Rice planting season. Yeah, when did they plant this rice, Teacher Ming? What do you think? I guess... Two weeks ago. Oh, just two weeks ago. Yeah. So it will grow up a lot more. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And this is when it's the greenest. Oh, it is really green, isn't it? Hey, Teacher Ming, what are some things that like rice farmers, what do they worry about? Some things they worry about during this time? Worried about uh, too much water or no too water. Too much rain, you mean? Yeah, too much rain or no rain at all. Oh, so if there's too much rain, what will happen? The the water will flood, so the rice is not going to be alive. Oh, it's going to kill it. If yeah. there's too much water, it floods, it kills it. Chai. And if there's not enough water... You can't plant the rice. Yeah. You can't plant it. It doesn't even so grow, right? they need the right amount of water. Just the right amount of water, right? Hmm. Hey, Ming, what is something that, uh, like, women here, what's, like, one of the first things they do in the morning when they get up? Cook rice. Yeah, you have to cook rice. And when you meet somebody for the first time, maybe your neighbor for the first time in the morning, what do you ask them, Teacher Tanya? What's like the first thing you ask somebody when you meet them in the day? Did you eat rice yet? That's right, every day. Everybody always asks Good each morning. other. Did you eat rice yet? Good morning. Did you eat rice yet? Good morning. Did you eat rice yet? And before you eat rice, what do you have to do with it, Teacher Ming? What do you have to do with the rice? So they wake up early to go to the temple. Uh, well, What's going on back there? Oh. It's crazy, crazy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do with the rice before you eat it? So we offer to the monks first. Like the, the Buddhist monk in the temple? Hi. So you give them some rice. Yes. And what else do you do with the rice? And then we we give it to the land, like to, to make merits to Oh, to the land spirits. And I think you give rice to your ancestors also, right? Yes. Your ancestors who died, you give some rice to them, right? Every day. Hmm. And Teacher Ming, when they teach the kids, like the mom teach the kids when they're young. Yes. They teach them some rules about eating rice. Like what happens? Are they allowed to drop rice on the floor? No, they're not allowed to even play with rice or food. Why can't? Why don't they because let the kids play with they, rice? Because they respect the rice. I mean, respect the spirit in... In the rice. rice. Yes. Yeah, actually, Tanya, we were talking about that before. They actually do some ritual where they offer rice to a rice goddess, right? Yeah. Because they believe, what about the rice goddess? Um, that she will help the rice grow. Mm. Help with the rain. So they want to make sure that, that they can grow rice because they need it for every meal. Because rice is... Life. Life. Yeah, that's right. In Northeast Thailand, where we live, rice is life. life. Hey, you crazy dogs. <laughs> We're trying to make a video back here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. How long is the rainy season in Thailand? About two three, months. Three months. Okay, so it'll be rainy like this pretty much yeah. every day for the next three or four months, right? Yeah. yeah. And then, in what month will they harvest the rice? Normally, they harvest um, on October. Oh, in October, they'll harvest it? Start to harvest it. And do they have any special programs at that time when they harvest the rice? 
Yeah. Like in the temple? Yes. Big oh. They all, they go together to do what? To have big marriage. To, to, to earn, earn merit. Oh, to earn merit in the temple. Oh, that's really interesting too. You know, it's really interesting, Tanya, all the beliefs they have about rice over here and all the rituals they do. What's different about being a Christian and how we think about food and how we think about those well, things? What's, what's interesting is Christians, um, well, in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus was actually talking to a group of people, and I'm pretty sure some of them were farmers, and he told them, like, look at the birds flying in the air. They're not out every day working in the field to grow food. They're not storing up in barns and worrying about if they're going to have enough. But God takes care of them. And then he said, why do you spend so much time worrying? Is it going to make your life any longer by worrying? And we can see with the, with the people here, like they spend a lot of time worrying about the rice and the fields and is it going to grow? And they do yeah. so many things to make sure yeah. the best they can that they're going to have that rice. And yet still there are challenges. There are droughts. There are floods. But we know as Christians that when we, we pray to God, that he takes care of us, even when there's a drought, even when there's a flood. He'll do things to still take care of us, and we don't have to worry. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Teacher Ming, do you want to say anything else about to the kids back in America? <laughs> so if you have if you have chance to try rice, so you should try. What kind of rice should they try? Sticky rice. Sticky rice. <laughs> that, <laughs> might be, that might be hard to find, but maybe... They could try, ask their parents to go to the grocery store. They could buy jasmine, jasmine rice. rice. Yeah, ja you can find Thai jasmine rice. Yeah, and actually, do they grow Thai jasmine rice in this area? Yes, it might be coming from here. You could try Yay. some. Oh, so, Thai rice. so if they buy jasmine rice in America, well, it's not that. No, maybe not that one. one. Maybe, maybe it's over. Maybe it's over there somewhere. Okay. All right. Thanks, Teacher Ming. Thanks, Teacher Tanya. Happy Sabbath, yeah? Happy Sabbath.